It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Back for a week, another brilliant idiotness. I'm going to be honest with y'all, I'm exhausted as fuck. What happened? I'm just tired, man. I, I did a late workout last night. And plus, we you know, we was traveling this weekend. Working out. And then, that? you know, you know what's so weird about like three-day weekends? Just admit that you're working out because of the last podcast. No, I'm always working out. But, but man, I love it more. <laughs> It made a little bit more. You look back at it. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, the picture. Yeah. You know what it was? It was the picture. You saw the picture. You're the like, picture Fuck. we posted. I was like, I, I look a little portly around mm. the hip. It's a little. I could tell like my waist, uh, like like hip area. Your ratio. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You said what? You read the comments. I don't want to look like wax. That's all. Nah, wax. If you look like me, you'll be all right. No, man. You yeah, just tall. I get it. Don't worry. No, nah, because the thing is, he's he's yeah, he's got um, right. he's got a better body than you. Oh, that's okay. I can say that as a heterosexual male. No, I, I agree with that. Do you think he has a better body than you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who do you think? Who do you think has a better personality? <laughs> what does that mean? Better personality. <laughs> it depends on the setting. Okay, go. It depends on the setting. <laughs> okay, that's all. Birthday party. Oh, wax. He's ki he's killer. At the oh birthday yeah, yeah, party. yeah, yeah. He's like mean? the um. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that? You order like the big like the the. The Pokemon? Yeah, yeah, like the stuffed animal that comes. Like Yo, the, per the, like the person that's in a suit, exactly. We should put wax in Times Square <laughs> and just charge a dollar a dollar to Asian people for pictures. Like, you want to take a picture of a real black person? Kids, yeah. 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 Kids, kids always love me. <laughs> now, really, every time I go to like cookouts and stuff, I always go with the kids because like grown-ups be lying. So mm. I, just, I go to the kids because they like so innocent. To tell the yeah, kids the there's an honesty to kids. Now, yeah, wax is so. changing though. I just saw wax not beat somebody up, man. Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, I don't know about this, bro. This, this, look, by the way, anybody that tells you New York is not getting crazy is a liar. It's, it's not getting control. crazy. New York is nuts, control. Schultz. I'm telling you, you just got what back happened? here. If what somebody tried to get me, what happened? For sure. Tell them what happened. Anybody. Anybody. What happened? Yeah, literally five minutes I went to the building and I was like, just let me go, let me go back to the truck real quick. Go back to the truck. I see a Hanes white sock in my <laughs> dashboard. Kicked up <laughs> like this. Foot. Kicked up at the dashboard. <laughs> Okay, so okay. I'm thinking somebody playing around right away. I'm thinking Charlamagne playing around. He sent somebody out here to bullshit. So I open the door. What the fuck are you doing? This guy got a pea coat on, no uh, drawers, and hangs white socks. And no shirt. And, and no shirt no on. No drawers on? He's butt naked? No, no. He got just drawers oh, on. Got drawers no, on. you told me he didn't have no drawers on. No, he on. had drawers See, on. See, he's changing the story. He told no. me that he had a pea coat on, <laughs> no shirt, no drawers, and socks. No, he had drawers on. So I just put my foot and grabbed his ass. Get the fuck out of That's here. That's not what happened. Tell him what you said first. Yeah, oh, oh, I was like, get the fuck out of here. Like, it's a free country. It's a free country. <laughs> the fuck you mean a free country, bro? You better get the fuck out of here. He's like, he's like, oh, you don't know what's going on. I was like, I don't give a fuck what's going on. You better get the fuck out of here. I, I, ain't, I didn't want to touch it. You start see smelling. I ain't got time for that shit. When you get back in that truck action. later and you sit in something warm and, nah, and liquidy, I'm telling you, he nah, jerked already, off already, in your truck. Oh, he, he definitely jerked off. He jerked off in your truck. He jerked off in your truck and then he time. sat there. It wasn't enough time. He fell asleep. <laughs> what do you mean it wasn't <laughs> enough time? How long did it take you to jerk off? No. We were just talking about this. Yeah. One minute, especially if you're like a weirdo like that, they it's probably jerk off mad quick. It's, listen, I, like I told you, what do you mean it's too hot? hot. He's homeless. He's used to this. How many times you want to have sex when it's hot? Huh? You, gotta have, you gotta have sex with a certain, certain time of the like. Yeah. I can have You're, sex at any temperature. I just can't have sex if I'm full. If I had a, a full. Now, nah, if it's too hot, you can't be horny. You're speaking with a rational mind. This man does not have a rational mind. I just read a story about this woman in Minnesota who was at a car lot and she went from car to car masturbating in each car. It's cold out there. When the police came, it was like a week ago. Nah, that's lit though. When the police came, that. she didn't stop. Oh, I, oh and yeah. And she yeah. was in Minnesota and they said she was masturbating and kept talking about Florida. Did they arrest her or did they yeah, try they to arrest her? her? They didn't let her finish at all. I'm gonna let her finish. She's about to squirt. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, they they probably be like, yo, what are you doing, ma'am? Somebody who who won't touch her? You gotta have a lady cop there, right? That's the other thing. Can you arrest a woman? What do you, you mean? can't even touch her, especially if she's naked playing with herself. You can't touch her. I mean, she's at, on a private property. She's freaking masturbating in various cars. There's no way a man touched her. Well, listen. They took her to jail, okay? <laughs> I'm just proud of Wax that he didn't beat the guy off for beating off in his truck. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, maybe you, you it, proud that, you, that Wax didn't say? beat the guy off? Oh, I mean, no, I meant to say no, beat no, the guy. No. <laughs> I mean, if this guy was a regular guy. <laughs> what are you doing in there? All by yourself. <laughs> hey, get 
Get your hands off of you. If he was a regular, <laughs> I'll just, take it from here. <laughs> if he was a regular guy, he would have got it. But it, I knew something was wrong with him. I'm like, it's my fault. You knew he was crazy. Yeah, something was wrong with him for so sure. So that, that's what some people are saying. They're just more crazy people on the streets. That, they, let Definitely. they let him out we again. They let him out again. We been saw that. We saw that last summer, yeah, though. Yeah, about two weeks ago now. No, but I remember last summer we was on 36th oh, Street. Him out. Yeah. And I'm looking they, around like, what the fuck is going on? But they do that every May. What do you mean? For mental health awareness, they let out like twenty percent. Yeah, they do. Yo, they twenty percent. They let out twenty percent for mental up, health man. awareness. This guy is so <laughs> it's true. That's a celebration. Uh, yo, go have fun. Yo, come back in last June. week. It was so many. Yo, of them. They do that. Yo. Y'all didn't notice. You, Mister Mental Health. I never paid it no attention, but it does seem like every May somewhere around a certain around time. a certain time You're they right. do yeah. just. They let them let out. Let them out. Like, and I to don't know what's going on. To get summer started, to get it going, yeah, bro. Yeah, they, they testing something out. They, they, like it got to be. They always guinea pigs, man. And it's the same area, like around Tribeca. Like, why is it right there? There's yeah. that. There's a lot of crazy over there. And that's what I feel sorry yeah. for, because if somebody is um, desperate enough to sit in a stranger's car. Yeah. Black's car. It's like, God But damn. he don't know it's your car, bro. He don't know it's your car. He, he don't, don't care. Know. I just let, listen. In a matter of five minutes, he was comfortable, comfortable. He, it's your he body. knew it was your car, it's and your he body. was sniffing your seats That's right. and beating That's right. his dick. He dude. saw your body, and he was like, this is the car I want to jack off. Mm -hmm. I want to sit in this seat. Mm -hmm. And then when he when he got out the car, what did he do once you once he got out the car? He screamed. No, he you said he was doing country. what? You said he walked up the street. No, he's going to try to go on other people's cars. Exactly. Oh, and jerk off in them, too. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Yo, that's a wild boy right there, bro. I think it's positively brilliant. Listen, uh, positively brilliant this week, DC Young Fly. Oh, you're yeah, knocking the guy out on stage. I mean, it's uh, not the fact that he knocked the guy out on stage, but listen, you got to protect your peace. Yeah. When I saw that story, all I saw was a man who understands self-care. Mm, think about the stage for you. It's yep. therapeutic, right? Yeah. And you on that stage, you cooking, you talking to the people, you vibing, yeah. you can't let nobody disturb your peace. Why do comedians roast hecklers? Well, because they're interrupting the show. They're disturbing, they're disturbing your peace. peace. They're disturbing the peace. That's, That's right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, DC, yeah. I don't know what exactly happened. I, I didn't listen to what DC, his explanation was. Did anybody hear it? No. Yeah, I didn't hear what his explanation was. It, he man, posted damn. something. He posted something about like, you know, hey, man, I, at the end of the day, I'm from East Atlanta. Like West side got, Atlanta. West yeah, side. Or West, West side. side Atlanta. Like yeah, yeah, I got yeah, yeah. hands. Like yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. if you come up here, and that's the thing. If you come up on stage after someone's talking shit, like anything could happen. You don't know what that person wants once they get up yes, there. Yeah. Everybody's right looking for now. a viral moment. Let's handle this right then and there. Yes. But I have to say, comedy clubs should not allow that. Where's the security? Yes, where's the phone the cameras? Where, where's the footage? That's <laughs> yeah. what I'm on. Oh, I'm on YouTube okay, searching thought, for this shit. I thought you saw it. I, a, no, I just got the after effect. I haven't yeah, seen the actual beatdown. Well, that's good, right? You should be happy there's no, no phone cameras in a comedy club. I mean, I mean, you know. Somebody sneak. He's always sneaking everything. But I'm I mean, I want to see if I know there's about to be an altercation. I see a motherfucker start approaching the stage. Please believe I'm a bust out. But you don't know camera. if it's part of the act. That's the problem. Well, it's you getting know what I'm saying. It's getting video. <laughs> but I mean, you go to a, you go to a comedy show. I've seen it. You go to a comedy show. You see somebody interacting with somebody in the audience, then you realize it's a part of the act. Yeah, they probably didn't realize it was a part of the act. Yeah, but that is a waste of a punch, though. You know, if you catch somebody on camera, you want the world to see. I want the yeah, world to on, see, especially on. if you knock them out. I didn't, got, even see, I didn't even see the guy I on the camera. I never get none of my oh, shit. You see the guy walking out. Mm. Yeah. You see the guy walking out. Yeah. Didn't even getting carried out? I mean, I guess he woke back up. But he dropped him. He slept him, apparently. Yeah. That's dope. That's the a job, good shot. DC, man. Yeah. They can push up some work I've been telling you about. You been hit. You, you got hit on stage before, right? Yeah, I got hit in the face. I got punched in the face. Wow. Why? Fuck around with you black folk. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Sound about right. Sound what about happened? right. No, no. I was up in Harlem doing a show at a Cafe Mocha. Shout out to Smokey, man. Smokey Suarez, legendary comic. I know Smokey. And, uh, yeah, you know Smokey. Okay. And Smokey had a, has, has a room. I imagine it's probably still going on now if, uh, if they're back from the pandemic is uh, yes. uh, Cafe Mocha's. I think it was on like 117th Street. And Jesus Christ, that's a black comedy night. Cafe Mocha. Cafe Mocha on 117th yeah, Street. On and like Malcolm Frederick Douglass Boulevard, a famous black uh, guy makes, Boulevard. It and it was, uh, yeah, it was just my, one of my first times. I was super young in comedy, but I was just going up anywhere. And um, <laughs> Smokey put me shit? up. I tried to make fun of his Puerto Rican in the crowd. He wasn't having it. He came up to me, and there's no stage there. You're just performing like in front <laughs> well, of the Well, don't bar. blame black people. <laughs> Say what? Don't blame black people. That was the Boricuas. He, he's Afro-Latino. Oh. Afro-Latino. Uh, an Afro-Latino <laughs> came up to me. An Afro-Latino came up to me. A Latinx came Afro up to me. Afro-Boricua. Yeah. And uh, he just, he came right up, up to me. He swung on me. 
and uh, punched me in my face. And then motherfuckers grabbed him. They grabbed me. They threw his ass out. I remember Smokey uh, handing the mic back to me. He goes, all right, bro, keep doing your thing. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, you got to keep it moving. You fall off the horse, you got to get back on it. How long was you on stage? I was probably on stage another like maybe like five minutes or something like Damn, that. Damn, did you yeah, get a laugh at least? Got... I, didn't, I wasn't even trying to tell jokes. I was like, the, what do I talk about now? You talk about what do I talk shit? about to y'all? What am I talking? The say? subway's what? uncomfortable, ain't it? Not as uncomfortable as getting punched in your fucking face by a Puerto Rican. What did you say to the Puerto Rican that made him so mad? Talk about Corona. Yo, I wasn't good back then. <laughs> so, oh, so the jokes didn't even sound like jokes. It wasn't like even jokes. jokes. He was like, I was like, I don't know. I was asking what he was. Somebody, I'm Puerto Rican. I was like, you ain't Puerto Rican. And Mexican. they proud of that. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't Puerto Rican. You Dominican. Oh, <laughs> why I oughta? <laughs> why I oughta? Turn into Popeye. Motherfucker ate his pinacas. <laughs> he came up right in my face. Is that a bullshit. rite of passage? After that, what's the worst thing that can happen on stage? Yeah. You shot? That's you the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. like, that's the only thing I could think that could happen to me on stage that's as bad as that, you know? Yeah, I don't I don't like that. I think comedians need to have security. I don't think that nobody Hell should even yeah. be allowed to get on stage. Like, you shouldn't be allowed to get Certain within five feet, feet yeah. of the stage, man. Yeah. You're disturbing a comedian's piece. Well, there was no stage. You're just performing in front of the bar. If there's a stage, at least you know you can see him come in. You know, yeah, they're going to yeah, take yeah, a step yeah, up yeah, and then yeah. boom, you know? You buy the bar, you don't know if you're ordering a drink. You don't know what's going on. Was he already standing up? He got out of his seat. So he stood up and walked right in front of me. And I was like, what's up, man? Like, I mean, what's up? I literally was like, what's up? Like, you trying to get by me to go to the bathroom? Like, well, now, what are you trying to do? That, see, and he's yeah, sitting right in front of me. Shit. And uh, yeah, and then he punched me. Damn. <laughs> Would you know him if you saw him today? <laughs> Would I know if I saw him now? Yeah. No. Damn. No, not at all. I remember everybody who I had a fight with. Really? Yeah, hell oh, yeah. No. I don't even remember the guys that I've sparred with. How you remember everybody you had a fight with, but not everybody you slept with? Yeah, that's uh, a good ass point. Because my adrenaline was going higher at that time with doing my fight. Nah. How does that make any sense? That isn't because. Because I, I haven't fought. I'm, I, had, I had had too much sex and I ain't had that many fights. You know Aren't you being saying? intimate with the girl though, so you don't remember her face? Like, I, you act like... I think wax more intimate all... fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. Because he gets dressed to fight. Yeah, like, listen, I was, I was I listening to Bomani Jones talk about when uh, you and Mace got into it. Yeah. And it was so funny the way Bomani described you. He was like, he had on some really tight pants. <laughs> he did. He, had, he said, he said, he said, he said really pants. tight cargo pants, which we know is wax is staple. And he was like, um, <laughs> he pulled out his gloves and he put them on nice slowly. And neat, slowly. No, oh, you get more intimate bro. to fight than you do. <laughs> <laughs> sex, bro. Oh, that's true, bro. I mean, you at I least wear it. protection when you fight. Yeah, I like, do. That's, 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 that's actually time. really interesting. Like, <laughs> like, when you fuck, you're like, fuck, I need protection for it. Protect your hands, but not your meat. Exactly. No, Isn't listen, that I messed up? You. I really Why you protect it? your hands, bro? Because I had a lot of knockouts here, so I just got to make sure everything stays braced in. I hit like, really hard. So. You always put your gloves on when you fight? Yeah, what else? What else yo, it it might be something to that, yo. What is that? That you enjoy fighting more than sex? I mean, I guess so. You say that? Yeah. You got to talk to a therapist. There's got to be something there with that. Have you ever spoken to a therapist? Have you achieved yes. orgasm through fighting? No, I never did. <laughs> I'm just saying. Have you? I mean, they said it's like I, if somebody who worked out a lot. When you put them in a no. headlock. <laughs> it is like I, having sex, is that, that type of stuff was always right. was like given to me. It's so easy for me. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like. You know, I don't really care about that type of shit. Me having a fight was like, damn, nobody want to try me. I work out all the time. I want to try my new arms. I want to try my new thing I just worked out with. Like, yeah. we're doing fucking deadlifts for what? To never try it you out. Want it, the, you want to... There's something gay here, bro. You gotta, I yeah, I know. We're going to get there. there. We're going to get there. there. We're going to let him guide us there. You guide us to the gay. Okay? Uh, guide us to the gay. Guide us to the gay. Welcome to the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying a therapist could get figure this out because something is not right about this. You know what's so funny? We used to have whatever we were bringing some gay shit. We used to be like dick talk, dick I segment. Know, cool. We talk about so much gay shit. It's not it's even just the, the whole podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well start the podcast. Dick talk, dick segment. I'm talking about gay. Join <laughs> the next hour and a half. <laughs> nah, so. So has there ever been a situation where you were fighting and mm -hmm. you felt some sort of a, like a uh, release, emotional release, sexual release? No, nah, not at all. I mm -hmm. mean, every time I fought, it was like, you know, I was like being guided by God. It was like I was more disciplined than this person, more of like whooping his ass. 
Ah, you felt like you were you were like the karma police. That's you are. That's all I am. I'm only here for that. You know okay. I never just like I never enjoy hurting nobody. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. What? <gasps> you don't think it's strange though that you can't even remember women's names that's that good. you sleep with, but you can remember everybody you beat up. Yeah, I remember that. Do you think you beat up more people or slept with more, more women? Sex, of course. I mean, I, I try not to beat everybody up. A lot of people. Wax listen, is missing his calling, man. He wants to be a wrestler. No, I don't. <laughs> he wants to be some I type of combat fighter. Uh, That's what enjo- you like fighting. You. I don't like fighting. I just like I like being a hero. Like I like to be, see that fucking guy right there. Like I'm pissed off. He got the gear on. Hold on, that gear. <laughs> Are you in the wide shot, Al? Please. <laughs> That's a robot. You're jealous of a I robot. Like it, but I want to be like, I want to save. Join the, the army, lady. bro. Like, what are you doing? No, I'm yeah, saying, I, 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 there's the so military, many jobs you can do. The military is right there. Yeah. Yeah. Never no. Military, be a you police know, officer. You know, like, you could do this for a living. You could get bad guys for a living. Listen, yeah. you know when they talk about the old lady the other day who got her t- purse taken and stuff? I'm like, why the fuck I'm never there? Like, I want freebies and stuff like that. I want the, like the tough You can guys. literally do this for a living. You can get, they will call you and then you can chase them down. You can like research it the whole yo, nine yo, yards. You know what I was thinking about that jetpack when we were talking about the other day? Yeah. That'd be fire. If Bro, you had a jetpack. Just be a cop. jetpack. No, Go to the academy. You told I think it. you need to be a cop. I don't want to be you, a cop. Are you told to be in the academy? I'm going to get too many charges to be in the academy. Go in the military. Like he wants to I fight. Cannot, I, I can tell Wax wants to do I combat. Try, listen, I tried to do it because I wanted to try the planes and I failed the ASVAB test so bad to where it was like, there's no way they're going to let me in there. You, you tried to go in the military? Plans? Yeah, I tried to. When I got locked up, one of my times I got locked up, it was like, yo, we're going to send you Uncle Sam and you, you ain't got to get locked up. You'll be all right. So I tried to go do the test and I felt it the worst. You're not going to fit into uh, a fighter pilot as a fighter pilot. Like, <laughs> you're not going to fit in the plane. Like, yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? What plane are you going to fly, bro? And I got calls the of fucking bombers. About that shit too. No, like, there's no way. Those, the you got to be tiny to fly those things. Yeah. Pilots are small. Yeah, the fighter pilots? Why'd you want to be in the Air Force? I just yeah. wanted to fly planes and shoot. Everybody wants to be in the air. I feel like every guy wants to be. This is crazy. It's and it's actually just. I'm telling you, there's something there, y'all. I'm gonna figure out why you like fighting more than sex. Something I mean, happened. Like I to told him you, when no one happened. Like he was that was beat always up given to me. Younger or something. Listen, like you that. know how many times that people never even go. A lot of people I don't never see hustle. Always got money given to them. Like some a lot of people who were really hustlers. Like never really had it, and they just stuck that with that mold. Like a pussy was always given to me. It was like that's nothing to me. You. He's like, oh, I'm going to give you pussy for a week. I'm like, hey, the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's right. the guys? It's the, it's no, the- it's, it's the thing is I never get to fight. I never get, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm like competitive. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm like, I'm working out all this time and all that, the fuck I'm working out for? Like, nobody going to try me Be anyway. Be healthy, sir. So when I finally get to get, in, get into something, <laughs> it's like, well. You work out so you look good enough to where guys want to jack off in your truck. No. <laughs> no. No, it just. Yo, people do throw sex at you, bro. That's facts, dude. I've seen it. I've That's seen a good it. ass point. Guys and girls, I've seen Real it. Real talk. If a guy, if a guy thinks you're so fine, he's just gonna jerk off in your truck because that's the closest <laughs> thing that he could get. <laughs> Yo, what about the guy who why. kissed your hand in that club that night? You was there, weren't you? It was I was, was there, bro. I paid him twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never told y'all that. I paid him twenty dollars. Like, Yo, who go kiss that big guy's head. It was Carly's. It was Carly's, Carly's birthday. birthday. Yeah, yeah, birthday. Yeah. Kissed you right in your fucking hand. Walked right up to his hand, took his hand. Wax, wax gave him his hand. The guy just lip bought up his lips. Kiss that shit right in his hand. I just looked I'll at him like, on the oh, shit. He turned my hand. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? No, you did not jerk no, it back that fast. That is hilarious. He did not. He bought yeah. it back slow like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was looking at it. <laughs> you did, bro. You were mesmerized by you that shit. You remember that night? I do remember that night. Uh, you want to keep talking about that what night? What happened that night? What? what happened that night? Did the lights came on and you looked at what the fuck you was playing around with? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Son, I got me a Bulbasaur, bro. I got it was. <laughs> what the fuck is a Bulbasaur? <laughs> Yo, it was dark in there, man. Wax was kissing dudes. No, I was kissing bugging. Bulbasaurs, bro. What the fuck is a Bulbasaur? <laughs> it's a type of Pokemon. Listen, oh. bro. Yo, you know I you didn't know, know it crazy. looked all right in the in the light. It yeah. looked all right. You know, they was kissing so crazy, like how her lipstick. Uh, like, her <laughs> oh makeup my was eye. All her face like this. <laughs> <laughs> Put up some positively brilliant with a fucking idiot <laughs> Taylor game. Huh? You got it. Amazing. Well, for you almost just yes, go over that. Okay, it. so go, for go, positively go. brilliant, you thought Naomi Osaka ta- uh, talking about or taking time out for mental health. I respect it. I think yes. Naomi Osaka is positively brilliant. I mean, listen, I, it's not even just Naomi Osaka, it's anybody. Take 
time out when you are mentally exhausted. I don't know what it is. The older I get, I be more mentally and emotionally fatigued than I do physically. Physically, you can power through. Yeah. But man, when you not there mentally, fuck no. I'm not showing up. What's the point? You know what I mean? I, I I reserve the right. It's your right, job. The, it's, it's your job, but she's, she, she took the fine. But she got to work a few days a year. Hey, man. <laughs> How many days a year? You got to work 12 days a year? You can't work 12 days a but fucking year? But she don't know year? what's going on. Exactly. I don't know what's going on yeah. with her. You can't work 12 yeah. days a year, though. I just, it's not like you physically injured. You stressed because you got to answer questions after the match. Hey, you got to work 12 days a year, B. I don't I'm know sorry. her life. Bro, I work seven days a week. And you yeah. don't get mentally exhausted? I do. Yes. Okay. Imagine yeah. I work 12 days a year. I'd be like, I'm okay. Depends what you're doing. Yes. Hitting a ball, Charlotte. Come on. Stop. <laughs> Hitting a fucking ball. I <laughs> hate it when we cap for these athletes. Like, they do some hard yeah. shit. They do. They do. They hit a ball. I can't do it. What do kids do before they know nah, how to speak? They actually, they actually <laughs> hit a fucking ball. Yeah, they, they Why don't you go outside and play some I ball? I can't do it. Athlete, athlete I can't right. go out there and do what she does. That I know. Nah, Tennis is no joke. Friendly. I literally do what she does. Well, I do what she's afraid of doing for a living. What? Yeah. She's like, I don't want to answer questions after I play tennis. I literally talk to people for a living. But that but shit gets exhausting. A woman in tennis. Oh, now she's a woman. How do you know how she identify? <laughs> how do yeah, you know? Do not period. misgender her. <laughs> do not misgender her. She's you don't know how she identifies. Woman. She identifies as a woman. Well, let's, I don't know. She's with YBN, the guy. Corday. Yes. I'm, I'm almost 100% positive she identifies yes. as a woman. But again, you can't assume it? that, bro. I like, can't assume. That's you're right. You're right. You you're right. She might not even want On the pronouns. That, yeah. They probably criticize her from her race stance, everything else like that. Well, what, is, what race is she? Asian. He's Haitian and, uh, and Japanese, right? She's Haitian and Japanese. Yeah. Okay. I have, I don't care how many days she work a year. <laughs> When you don't want to show up, I reserve the right not to show up. By the way, I'm notorious for that. I am notorious for day of. Yo. Yep. No, night, I'm not night, coming. Night before, 12 night o'clock. Before. <laughs> exactly. Motherfucker, at, at 11 o'clock last night, yes. all right, earlier in the day, he texts us, yo, can we do a pot Thursday? I'm like, all right, bet. But you know around. why? I'm I go, I'll move some things around. When I say I'll move some things around, I mean, I'll move eight other people's schedules around. That's, <laughs> That's right. what it means. Okay? I agree. But Charlotte's schedule is a priority. And I've, I've always believed in that, supported that, and always made shit work because of that. And I do recognize but that. But I, I feel the same. I feel the same about your schedule. But I, you know what's so funny? I thought my <coughs> appointment with uh, one of the people in my wellness circle was around this time. Hmm. So I didn't want to come rush to do the podcast and then, you know, have to rush, rush back. Because, you know, when I, when I go sit down with them, I want to, like, just sit down. It right? might take some time. But then I realized it was West Coast time. Ah, so I'm like, oh, that ain't till later this evening. So he hits us up at 11 o'clock at night and goes, yo, we could actually do it tomorrow. Yeah. So now I got to call all these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yo, we because we got to do flagrant before. So I'm like, yo, everybody's in at nine. I mean, like, it's, it's a wild situation. I, I get it. All I'm saying is I don't know Naomi. So that's my what a fucking idiot for the week. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> I don't know Naomi Osaka's, you know, uh, schedule or anything like that but yeah. anytime somebody wants to take a mental health break i'm all for it man i'm all for it too uh i just and again i don't know the situation and she seems like a an authentic person and she's young I'll see her talk she's young she seems yeah. like an authentic person so i do believe her when she's saying it i do oftentimes think that there are people who take advantage of our empathy for mental health yeah when they how want to get out of the situation it? how will you know you need I, to take it Exactly. Like everybody deals with stress. Everybody deals with depression. Everybody. Yeah. De- these are normal I work about functions. 12 days a week, too. Exactly. I, I think we've made it. Um, and when I say we, I mean society. I think I know, society I know, I know. has made it. He to said 12 where, days a week. He definitely said 12 days a week. He said 12 days a week. Told, what, are you on a metric system, bro? What, what, what? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm nonstop working. I'm nonstop flying. I'm nonstop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he meant to say so like 24, you, 7, 365. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But 12, he works 12 days a week. He works 12 days a week. 12 hours, I guess. 24, yes. <laughs> I mean, you know how many days in Christmas? You know, you know it's 12. Know. <laughs> but listen, I think, I think that, um, like, I forgot what the fuck I was going to say. That's why I need a mental health break. So that's what that's you what you were in the middle of saying, stuff. No, nah, but you were in the middle of saying some shit like people be capping about mental health yeah. and like. Oh yeah, yes, I think that, that I think society shit, society just to sell books. You were saying some oh, shit like up. that. <laughs> I, think, I think I think society has made it to where the stigma has been eradicated. Yeah. So now yeah. people aren't afraid to say, "Yo, I need a mental health break." And now yeah. you have 
Which is with ha- what happens with every movement is you have the people who are going to take advantage of the movement because it's an easy situation where they got to feel, they don't, they feel uncomfortable, they get to avoid something. Man, they've they been doing that in the hood and my family been doing that for years. Dude, I do that dude. shit with my girl. What's she, wrong S- with S- that S- though? S- S- every time tips. my girl's upset at me, I'm sick. Yes. I want to hear How it. you going to be upset at me when I'm sick? <laughs> right? Simple as this. Second she upset me because I came home late, I'll be like, ah, we should definitely talk about it after I throw up because I'm sick. And then <laughs> and yeah. now she can't be angry what at me she because about? I'm sick. Say no. what? Oh, you're sick. I'm not sick. Oh, uh, got you. I'm oh, sick of her you, being mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm sick of. Listen, Bro, I don't feel good right now. No, I don't Listen, I feel horrible. I could be home the night before. Shit. I do this a Ooh, lot when it comes that. to like like concerts and shit, yeah. like powerhouse or some shit like that. I'd be yeah. home the night before and then I start thinking about all the people we got to deal with the next day, be like, <sighs> going on the stage, all that shit, and like my social anxiety. I'm like, I'm not coming. I'm not going. And then what happens? I don't go. Oh, you just skip out? Yes. You skipped out on a powerhouse before? Yes. Hell yeah. I don't remember that. It was so boring. What, without Charlotte? Yeah. Because you need them there to mix it up. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, mix it up. I'm not, say yeah. fuck you to brands or some shit. And then you got to think too, right? It's exhausting. And that's another thing, right? Because it's like, yo, we go places. I was saying that the other day. When I, I went down this rabbit hole because somebody sent me the Bomani Jones shit. And then I just thought about all the times we went out. And every time we went out, we got into some shit. Mm. I, that shit gets exhausting. Mm. I don't want to freaking be con, con, having confrontations with people's favorite rappers yeah, and man. artists every fucking time I go out. Who got time for that shit? Mm. That shit is exhausting. I, I was listening to Angela Yee talk about DC Young Fly in the club, punching the guy. Yep. Jeezy being in some club in Detroit and... It was some situation. Kelly Price having a situation with a promoter. And all I thought to myself was, this is why I be in the fucking house. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we always did get into some. It's always it's stupid. Nobody got time for that. Remember that time we were standing in front of the club? We in front of the club, right? And this white girl was just, she came up to us and said something. I don't even remember what she said. Then her boyfriend, boyfriend or something comes up to me uh, and shakes my hand. And squeezes my hand real tight. Because yeah. he, he thought that I said something to the girl. And I, he said something. I'm like, what do you... I said, what? I couldn't hear him. I'm like, what? What? They heard him before me. Yeah, he already got tore up. He got smacked. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, I don't even know what he said. I don't even, what, what did he say? Hey, I forgot. Wax didn't even smack him. Somebody else smacked yeah, him. Yeah, you got to get hit up. I'm not going to say who, but somebody else smacked him. <laughs> this what was years do? ago. What do you mean? He fell. Ago. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you know? good job. And then I remember Marty, because Marty and them was with us, yeah, Marty and Home Girls. Yeah, I remember. They was like, ah! And they just this is in the city. <laughs> but it's just stupid. Nah, it a lot of that is exhausting. That is mentally and emotionally exhausting. So you never know. I don't I know what Naomi into, goes through. I never through. get into fights when I go out, though. Because mm. you're white. <laughs> That's a great point, too, Taylor. Great observation. <laughs> <laughs> It is. It might be a little different in our society. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? So you're saying, but this, why, you're saying white people don't come up and fight. Otherwise, no, white people definitely no, they fight. They do, but it's going to be a fight. I just told you, a white dude came. Up. A white dude was tried to. I don't know what he was trying to do. He's definitely people white. To fight y'all. I don't think As, hello, Alice got into a whole thing too. He started that. <laughs> <laughs> He started that shit. Them goddamn he Puerto Ricans. Them yeah. damn Puerto Ricans. Uh, these Puerto Ricans, it's a problem, bro. Puerto Ricans are a problem. It's a real are. problem. So what was that? What, what did you say on the, on the on flagrant the, the, about the Puerto Rican thing? that made me fucking die laughing. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah it's like we're talking about, we're talking about, our guys brings up, uh, you know, why the fuck Puerto Ricans got to play handball all the time, right? And Al just goes, come on, bro, we got to hit something. <laughs> What? <laughs> they got to get it out this system. Thank God, man. They got to get it out this system. <laughs> that is funny. They, they just go, they just they just go. The No, y'all do take handball serious. Yeah. You know, another thing yeah. Naomi Osaka said, though, she 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 knows her limitations. Ah. She said she's not good when she does interviews. She was like, she don't like talking. That's okay, but Please. that's part of the job. Somehow. I get it. I get it. You like, go, y- y- if you want to do this... This is what comes with the territory. And what I think that she's doing is going, I'm going to use my leverage to force you guys to change the rules so they accommodate my lifestyle a little bit better. But I'm sure they make money off of the press that comes from these conversations afterwards and they're tied into the TV deals, et cetera. So it's like, I understand you don't want to do it. 
and it's an inconvenience to you. And I understand the more successful people get, the less they want inconveniences in their life. I'm guilty of that. Yeah. The more successful, the more money that you have, the less that you want to be inconvenienced. That's right. And then, and that at first it's okay. You start like paying people to do th some things that you wouldn't want to do. But eventually you start to get a little bit of entitlement or some people get some entitlement where they feel like they don't deserve to be inconvenienced and inconvenience is a mental health issue. There's a big difference between being inconvenienced and being <laughs> harassed. Like yeah, there's yeah, a yeah, massive yeah, yeah. gap right there. But you know the thing about anxiety, and I'm so glad that I've always been open about my anxiety, or well, recently, everything feels like harassment. When you're rich, when you're poor, you're like, oh, this just sucks. <laughs> right? You gotta deal with it. That's That's it. it. You gotta deal with it. Cause you ain't got no choice. Nah, no choice. Yeah, but, but, try not exactly. showing up to no, the construction no, no, site because no, no, you feel no, anxious no, that no. day. I'm with you, but guess what? That's why everybody, every job, every industry should have mental health breaks. Now you're right. You will have some people who take advantage of those. This yes. is rich girl shit. No, yeah, I'm I'm listen, like I'm, this is rich. Girl hey, shit. I'm with you. I can, I can see how, I can easily see how you could say that. But we're all, we're all act like rich girls or rich dudes or whatever in time because when you get more money, you can remove inconvenience from your life and remove anytime you feel inconvenience when you know you can remove it it's that much more annoying that's why you see these out-of-touch celebrities like like explode at a restaurant like ellen <laughs> right like ellen if somebody smelled like tuna on set like one person smelled like tuna because they were eating a tuna sandwich on set and then she fired that motherfucker that's she's, disrespectful she's so not used to inconvenience in her life but you're right though because that's the thing right when when you know your triggers and i guess you're in a position to remove your triggers <laughs> You now, get rid every, of your fucking triggers. Exactly. Yeah. And then uh, that's why I'm saying some like rich person shit where it's like, that's bro, why life is, you got to be inconvenienced. Like, I'm not going where I'm triggered. Exactly. But sometimes in life, the triggers are going to come for you, uh, come that's to you. That's a fact. That within is a fact. your job even. That's a fact. Or social media. Or social media. Yeah, yeah that's why and I stay then, off it. Boom. Exactly. So you can stay <laughs> off it, but she can't. She got to go play tennis. Yeah, she Damn. Sweetheart, eventually you're going to have to play tennis. Well, right? But by the way, clearly she doesn't. Yo, Naomi made $55 million last year. <laughs> If she stops playing tennis, you're going to see that money go away real quick. How the hell are you going to get rid of $55, 55 million, million dollars I'll like help that? You. Crypto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, got, I, got, I got rid of tens of thousands in crypto. You want to make okay. your money disappear? Invest in some crypto. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand crypto at all, bro. Yeah, I mean, don't, don't even get me started. All crypto is, is I don't want my friends to get rich without me. That's all crypto is. Damn. And it's it's a bunch of guys who have one of their friends who got into it and started making a lot of money based on absolutely nothing because it's bullshit. So now the other friends are starting to go, oh, no, you're not about to be the rich one without me getting yeah, rich yeah, yeah, when yeah. I know you know nothing. Yeah. Like, if you get rich because you worked harder than me, say peace, la vie. That's peace. great. But you're not going to get rich because a couple letters you put money behind. That's right. And they went up a thousand percent. I mean, the thing about crypto is like you don't know what's going to actually be the, the one cryptocurrency that everybody uses. Exactly. You know what I mean? And what is behind crypto? Like, we know at one point gold was behind the dollar. What is Nothing. making China, crypto uh, worth it? China. There's a limited Scammers. quantity in some of them. So, like, Bitcoin, there's only going to be 21 or 23 million or 18 million, whatever it is, mm -hmm. ever. So, and that's by design, by this, like... Um, for lack of a better uh, term, like an, an equation, essentially. The blockchain is the thing that... Um, the 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 mining is done on and the printing of each transaction is done on, but there's a limited amount. So if you have five Bitcoin, when the, you know there's not going to be any more than 20 million yeah. ever, now you have a piece of the world that should have value, but there's no fucking value. It's whatever we pretend it is. It's yeah. no different than bags and, you know, sneakers and all this other shit. Are these sneakers worth fucking $500? Only because we decide. Depends. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends. It's worth six dollars, realistically. I bought some motherfucking. Um, well, you know, I, I got into stocks last year with the S and P five hundred, but I got into buying individual stocks got this that year. AMC shit, I know. Man, I know. You know what made me buy AMC? What's that? that goddamn Marvel commercial that showed all the movies that were coming out over the next couple of years in yeah. Marvel. People need to go see. These I was the just theaters. sitting back, like, cause I oh, and really? I love movie theaters. I want to mm -hmm. own a movie theater one day, so I'm looking like. I'm going to buy me some AMC stock. I hit my financial guy. I said, I want to buy me some AMC stock. This is like a month ago. I bought it at $9 a share. And now? That shit was $42 a God share bless. this morning. Oh, God oh. bless. They're I doing took, a squeeze on it, but yeah. That's I don't give a fuck. I took my initial yeah, yeah. investment out yesterday, Yeah. which was like 15K. I didn't even put I didn't even put 10% of my portfolio. I just yeah. put like 15K in there. Yeah. I took that out yesterday, and oh. I'm just playing with house money at this that's point. Right. But mm -hmm. it's just interesting to watch because you sitting yeah. there like, I didn't do shit to make this money. Well, you got very lucky with that one because I think the hedge funds were uh, betting against it 
And then the Reddit community came together, similar thing to GameStop. And the Reddit community came together and they're like, let's fuck over the hedge funds. But it's common sense though, right? Like yo, movies got to come back. Yeah. Well, the theaters got line. to come yeah. back. It was the opposite. The common mm -hmm. sense was that movies were going to be done. And that's why the hedge funds basically bet against the whole thing. And then the Reddit community came out and they were just like, yo, fuck these hedge funds. Why don't we all dump our money into the stock to pump it up? And if we can keep it pumped up long enough, these hedge funds will lose millions and millions and millions of dollars. So that's what they're trying to do. Like I a, looked at the production studio. Short squeeze, it's called. When I saw that these production studios were still spending, you know, multi-millions of dollars to produce films, yeah. I'm like, okay, theater's not going nowhere because I'm looking at Disney Plus and HBO Max, like, the experience isn't the same. It's not Unless right. you got a theater in your motherfucking house, it's just yeah. simply not the same. When I was I was in uh, Miami, last thing we did in Miami is uh, we saw a movie. One of the last we we uh, it was called Dream Horse. It was actually like a really Dream fun. Horse. Yeah, really fun. Really horse. Oh, I'm about to horse. say what the fuck y'all watch that at? Dream Horse. No, no, no. Like what? <laughs> no, no. It was called a uh, Dream Horse, and it, it was a. Uh, and we we're in this movie theater, and this was the coolest thing ever. We were the only two people in the movie. Theater. That's great. Bro, that shit, having your feet up, talking out loud about the movie to your fiance, to your wife, whatever, while it's going in this huge movie theater. Was y'all smooching AC, in there because y'all by yourself? It's one of those things where it's like, we could, but like, you could do whatever you want. Bro, welcome yeah. to my life. I do morning radio. So if I do morning radio 6 to 10, I'm at the matinee, baby. Oh, that's right. Nobody <laughs> what do there. you mean? Yeah, that's nice. Yes. Yeah. We it's at like the matinee. By yourself. The, the, the movie, I, it was in that moment I really understood, you know, where like rich people do a, a theater in their house. Like, I'm surprised you don't have a theater in your house. Hey, man. Are you building? Take all that AMC money. That's why I got to do the AMC money. <laughs> <laughs> me god is good you know what i mean <laughs> but that's but that is a cool thing like going there with wifey lock in close that's it, doors man. that's like, it that's your tv it. outside that's kind of fire maybe that's a good little situation your tv outside in the living room where you watch you know like uh, the fights or whatever yep. that's games like, yep. the Playoffs, games yeah, like you want to have the shit going but then the movie room where yes. it's like yo we're gonna lock definitely. in lock definitely. in but everybody don't have a theater so Quiet Place 2 did $70 million this past weekend. Is that right? Yes, in theaters. Cruella did like $40 million and it was on Disney+. Plus. Nice. So it did $40 million at the box office or whatever it did on Disney+. Plus. Theaters are back. Quiet Place did $70 million? Worldwide. $70 million. And that's, that's a horror film, right? Yes, rated R. Son, a horror film is, and I don't know all the tech going on in it, but most horror films are pretty... Super easy, but they're cheap, right? Because most of it is like tension, dark lighting. There's not like these crazy explosions yeah. or anything like that. Fast and the Furious probably take $100 million. And me. Quiet Place ain't got no fucking Listen, dialogue. I, I, I'll be a horror guy. How much <laughs> you, I, I'll be the horror guy. <laughs> you said you <laughs> wanted to be the hero. Make up Same your mind. shit. Yeah, yeah. So, scared the bad seven, guys. I think you should be in Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Nah, no, man. I'm scared the bad tights, guy. Bro. Robin Hood. They, they're just going to say, hey, bring your pants. <laughs> <laughs> And low key, Robin Hood. Robin Hood, about a notorious no, thug no, no. who likes to wear tight pants. That's his calling card. Call it Robin Hoods. Robin Hoods. Because he's out there robbing Robin Hoods. Hoods, men in tights. Oh my God. So you and your crew yeah, all wear all, tight all, yoga all pants. All the guys who out there who think they're tough guys in the hoods and stuff like that, I'm going to go out. I like beating up the bad guys. Steal from the poor, give to the me. I bring it to the churches for tithes. Oh, that's actually oh, fun. Oh, yeah. that's incredible. Oh, I've actually incredible. been doing that all these years. I've been selling drugs. I've been selling like my to pay my tithes on my drug money. I had another. Like that's a anyway. good idea. I had another idea for a movie <laughs> called. I've been oh, doing that. I want to call it Carcella. Carcella. Yeah, and it's a bunch of guys that go rob like a car show. You know, how Envy does his big car yeah, show called Carcella. So you have a bunch of guys who plot. These the same guys who be robbing cars in Jersey and everywhere else. Like bad they boys. plot on Carcella. Because they know that's where all the cars like, like, are. Like the Jamaicans in Miami um, did. It's in, Gone in uh, 60 bad Seconds. Boys. Oh, Bad Boys. Yeah. yeah. It's Gone in 60 Seconds, that Nick Cage movie. Remember that shit? Yes. I remember but something like that. about Carcella. Yes. Yeah. That's fine. No, you, 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 you want them on Miami um, Highway like they did in Bad Boys when the Jamaicans stole that thing and they was wilding. Mm. That'd be fire. They steal the cars and go and on the highway out. like that. And then they're out. What a crazy chase scene. Yeah. That's yeah. And it was Envy and them yeah. out there trying to chase it. Envy out just there running, wilding. Beard died dripping down his neck. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready, Taylor? Let's take a break now because I got to pee. Is that cool? Oh, all right. Well, let's take a break. Peace. We pay some bills. Okay, let's stop and pay some bills, man. Um, this episode of The Brilliant Idiots 
is sponsored by Blue Chew. Say it with us, Blue Chew. Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and have longer lasting erections. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all forms of erectile dysfunction. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. And it ships right to your door in a discreet package. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers. And once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online. Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and shrimp for your prescription. Don't like swallowing pills? No problems here. Blue Chew's Sildenafil to Dolophil tablets are chewable. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and they prepare and ship direct so it's cheaper than a pharmacy. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code IDIOTS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code IDIOTS to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Today's Brilliant Idiots Podcast is also brought to you by Cushy Dreams. Look, man, we know the world today is nuts. You heard what we was talking about earlier where the guy was just sitting in waxes car with his feet cocked up and just a pea coat on okay just when it seems like things are getting better we're hit with even more reasons to be anxious and uncomfortable okay and that's why our friends at cushy dreams can help cushy dreams helps you to deal with people because they specialize in high quality smokable cbd and CBD has been shown to help with anxiety, depression, inflammation, even pain relief and more. And smoking CBD gets it into your system right away so you don't have to wait long for the effects. Cushy Dreams Extraordinary CBD Rich Hemp Flower comes in eighth ounce cans and pre-rolled joints. It is cannabis that ships directly to you and directly to all 50 states, okay? And discreetly, they offer indigo and sativa strains that deliver effects like relax, create, hustle, peace, energy, dream. Let me tell you something. Nothing like cushy dreams on a nice summer day when you're sitting on your back porch, watching the trees, listening to the birds. You don't necessarily want to get high, but you want to relax, all right? That's Cushy Dreams. Whether you want to smoke beautiful bud or pre-rolls, their popular pre-roll joints are rolled in organic hemp paper and feature an even slow burn. With Cushy Dreams, experience the therapeutic benefits of CBD with full flower, full spectrum, and full flavor. We know you're sick of carts, vapes, gummies, and want to smoke your CBD. And now you can enjoy all of the benefits of cannabis without getting high. Go to CushyDreams.com. That's K-U-S-H-Y Dreams.com. At checkout, use promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order. Smoke your CBD with promo code IDIOTS and get 20% off today. Now let's get back to the show. All right, let's do some church announcements. Uh, Wax, you got some church announcements? Uh, Soon the paintball facility is going to be opened up really soon. So uh, make sure y'all get your teams ready. Uh, T. Diddy says she's going to have something, put something on the website. So y'all put your teams up there. Podcast Wars, make sure y'all get your teams and uh, figure out who you're going to fight. God bless. God bless and you, Wax. For Bully and the Beast, who did you guys have today, this week? Oh, uh, Bully and the Beast, we had uh, a sex spurt, and um, she actually let me know that I don't know how to have sex. So <laughs> Really? Yeah, I've been bullshitting all these years. Well, that's probably why you enjoy fighting more. Yeah, because you know how to that. fight. That yeah, yeah, yeah. coming out, I guess yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. You know? So you, you know how to fight. You don't know how to sex. Huh? You have a boxing coach, huh? No. Yeah, so that he can describe like how you've been fighting incorrectly as well. Uh. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I've probably been knocking people out incorrectly for a really long time. Yeah, but in that ring, you'll get embarrassed. Did yeah. you see that coach? You see that boxing coach in back? Uh. And that's an old man. They ain't got nothing to do with that dude can't fight in the street. That dude mm. can't fight. My little nephew will beat him up for sure. That dude can't that fight. That boxing coach would embarrass you. No, he won't. The boxing coach? <laughs> Yo, hold on. <laughs> oh, tell, tell me why, why you feel like he embarrassed me. Because he knows how to box and you don't. What that got to do with anything? Hand-eye coordination. Like, if I see something coming at me, am I not going to just football? move? I'm very, very good at football. Was it because of the training that you did or simply hand-eye coordination? Mo mostly it's because I played soccer first, and then when I came out there, I was overly, um, I overly did things. Um, I can say <laughs> I, 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 was, I was outstanding. I was outstanding because I knew how to do more things like my feet work and stuff being my side. Right. So but I, you had I, some I training. Yeah, I had, I had training. training is what made you good. 
understand that but just me, my ability of being who i was i know a whole lot of dudes who train and went to practice way more than me coach take, take the fuck out mm-hmm. wax wax the only reason why wax didn't go in because i was late to practice all the time i wasn't Fair going enough. to practice and i used to come in there and dominate because of my ability of who i was i can't wait to have this conversation next week after floyd mayweather <laughs> embarrasses logan paul if floyd, so we can see yeah. the difference so so because I, I don't think he understands boxing boxing I yeah. think what Wax really mean? thinks is put the gloves on, go in there and knock somebody out. What you mean? You, that's, what, that's what everybody <laughs> going there to do, right? Listen, I, I understand. I understand, I understand. There's a science to this all day long. You understand? But if you go in there and you can knock somebody the fuck out, that's what happens. No, you would swing at Floyd Mayweather, and he would. <laughs> in, 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 in to Floyd, it would be in super slow motion. And you would see yeah. Floyd laughing yeah, 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 yeah. as you swung some big wild punch. And then he connects you well, why, on your why, chin why can't, and knocks why can't, you out. Why can't, why, can't, why can't it be an official punch? Because why, why you don't know how wild, to throw an official punch. Who are you talking to? In a boxing ring, it's a difference. I'm not What's talking about the difference. The it ain't got nothing to do with nothing. You All telling right. me that I can't officially throw a punch the right way? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no. What's wrong with y'all? Not that Floyd Mayweather. Not a Floyd Mayweather. I don't give a care what y'all talking about right now. When you see how he makes Logan Paul look on Saturday, you're going to realize. I can't wait. It's Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. Right, you can't I'm, even fuck the right way. How the hell are you going to box the right <laughs> way? Let's be honest, yeah. bro. Well, she told me I ain't know how to fucking fuck. I was like, what the fuck is going on? She said, I'm like, that's a what? what you know you girls have balls? Yeah. N- the fuck I didn't know Ovaries. That? That's not what she said. Like. That's what I heard. She, said, she the balls, said She said the balls fill up. And that's why girls get the squirt. It fill up so much, it then it burst, and that's why it squirts. Oh, wait, what? Who would you <laughs> have on? Caitlyn <laughs> Jenner, bro. No, is Caitlyn your sex ed? I- I'm telling shout you, out to Samaya. Hey, Samaya. But, no, that's not what you got. Samaya have might have some balls. I'm, I'm not judging Wax for anything that he's into, bro. <laughs> Listen, no, if you're into girls with balls. I don't care. Do you think she's she you. you're it, gonna be my brother regardless? Listen, it, had, yeah. it, it, it would look like this. You're gonna so be someone else's like this? sister, but you're gonna be our brother. <laughs> Listen, it ain't look like this, yo. What is that? It had the two balls right here, and it had the, the clip right here. Okay, so it's, that's it's just a little dick. You were talking to someone that's a little dick. No, she showed us the thing. All right. No, but I, I, that was no. She's showing us a clitoris. Then what's the two things on the side? Lips. No hell, no. I mean, I don't want you to pay attention to sex ed. <laughs> you know how they teaching the little first graders how to masturbate? Yeah, that was a little unbelievable. Weird, I don't like that. I don't like that. Cool. We can that talk about weird. it. What's your church announcements? Um, I'm teaching a masturbation class for first graders. <laughs> uh, it will be up on uh, Patreon. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no uh, yo, uh, the infamous tour, man. Get your tickets. TheAndrewSchultz.com. Get your tickets right now. Uh, we'll be in Orlando this weekend. Uh, thank God. Thank, thank you so much. That's all sold out. St. Louis sold out. I think San Antonio might be sold out. Maybe there's some tickets. Go check it. But theandrewschultz.com. Check out all the dates. And those are the dates that are going to be from here until the new year. So if you want to come see me uh, before 2021 is over, make sure you pop into one of those dates before the tickets are gone. Thank you guys for selling out all the shows that you sold out already, man. Go keep doing that. Yeah, I've seen you in Orlando. I see, I was, I yeah, seen it. I yeah. I posted took a picture it. of me. Yeah. Clowning me for that picture. It's kind of wild. It was a wild pic. <laughs> My, mine is simple. Uh, go to blackeffect.com. You know, make sure you subscribe to all the podcasts on the Black Effect Podcast Network. Um, Tamika Mallory, State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Built is out right now. It is amazing. doing amazing. Thank you to everybody that's uh, grabbed a copy. Mm. Anita Kopak's Shallow Waters will be out August 3rd. That is a young adult fiction book that's coming out on Black Privilege Publishing. So I'll be exhausting y'all talking about that uh, a lot real soon. And um, my audio book uh, on Audible, We've Got Answers. You know, it's free with an Audible membership. Just look it up, Charlemagne the God. We've Got Answers, okay? Uh, now let's get back to the show. Yes, I don't think first graders should be getting taught about masturbation. Never. I, I agree. I was not give, thinking about masturbation in first grade. Can you give the context to this? I don't even know what the context is. I just know that it's a school that was teaching first graders about it's masturbation. Not, it's not cool. As a parent, I, first of all, want to give consent in order for my child to learn about those things. Yes, and right? I'm So no. it should be a form that comes home to say, hey, this is what we want to teach your child about. Field trip. Yes. Can you, do, yes. do you agree? If I don't agree, then they don't teach my child about it. They Tech, did that when we were in school. Really? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, field trips sex and ed, you had to get the paperwork signed. I remember, I remember watching that. kids when I was in middle school. Oh, yeah, that was wild. Yeah, That's my teacher. neighborhood. Really? Yeah. The teacher let us watch kids. kids. I used to see some of those guys. Like, yeah. dude, the black kid in there, he's dead. R.I.P. something, Hunter, I think his name is. But he was just a skater. He'd be in the neighborhood. 
Damn. Kids, you talking about the movie, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. with Casper and all of them. Casper and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they let us watch that in middle school, but I think that Harold was like some Hunter, summer school man. shit. But what? your parents always tell you not to masturbate, period. That's just, that's like this. That's my a parents sin. never told me anything about masturbation, but I know the first time that I masturbated to completion, I told my father. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know? <laughs> to completion? But that's, that's something you're always yeah. supposed to hide. Like, you can't let people know that's what you do. Yeah. I mean, the only thing that you uh, should be telling kids, uh, I'm reading it right now, parents at NYC schools are furious that this masturbation education video is being shown in first grade. Unbelievable. Amanda Seals comment, how is there even time in the curriculum? Listen, um, the only thing you should teach kids about masturbation is don't do it in public. Well, that's yeah. what don't do it at all. was. What? That there's not enough time? I think she was making a joke. Oh. So, she put LOL a, at the end, though. Oh. A listener <laughs> called up, though, today and said that they she thinks that it's okay to tell, or just like what you just said. Um, just tell them don't them do it in public. Because she said that she's a oh, teacher, and she oh, says like, there's kids the that will masturbate in class, or they'll go to the bathroom, masturbate, and all that other stuff. Because they don't I know any know. better. But isn't that the beauty of life, though, when you're that young that you don't have any shame? <laughs> like, you don't even know what you're supposed to be ashamed about? Should be pissing me off. You know what I mean? So what's up with <laughs> them dudes in the train? They just be jerking off just on the train all the alone, time. Bro. Like, leave I, kids alone. It's really bothering me, man. Like you don't do that. I, I don't let know. go. Just leave them alone. Let it go, Hezzy. Let let them feel let them feel uncomfortable. Let them do things that are silly. And you're a teacher, and it's your responsibility. You can tell them not to do something, or mm-hmm. maybe you do something privately. But you don't need to teach them how to do something. Mm-hmm. So many of these kids the aren't way. doing anything, and then we feel like so much responsibility to like go on and educate the youth about everything in the world. They're innocent. We're the fucked up ones. That's right. Stop putting That's your right. fucked up shit on, on them. them. Give if them some time. Leave them alone. We well, actually saying earlier when he's at one of these parties, he likes hanging out with the kids because they don't lie at all. Adults lie. They lie yes, to you, that's they right. do fucked up shit, mm-hmm. and what we're trying to do is we're trying to like almost teach our kids how to lie. Literally. Stop putting your fucked up shit on the kids. They're fine, they're innocent. If a kid makes a fucked up joke to another kid, he doesn't know it's wrong. That's right. Yeah. He doesn't know. If a kid calls another kid fat, he's not doing it to be mean if they're he's young, young. He's, he's making really an observation. Make observation. That's it. He's yeah. really he's fat. Using you made an your, adjective. You made your kid fat. Maybe yeah. you should look at your that's fat right. fucking kid. An adjective, an adjective that you taught him. You taught that kid. That's right. But yes. if your kid is fat, maybe the parents need to stop feeding your fucking kid to make him so fat. It's not the other kid's fault. Exactly. It's your fault. If, you, if you're fat at 25, that's on you. That's your if you're fault. fat at six... Your parents, parents is fault. fucked up. Yeah. Parents so fault. The, the adults constantly fuck up the kids. And for some reason, we're putting a responsibility in adults that don't even care about the kids to make them better. The kids are good. Leave them the fuck alone. Let yeah. them be kids. It drives me crazy. When, when I was in first jerking grade. Jerking off I, is the devil. Huh? I'm just saying. That's what all parents used to tell me. Jerking off is the devil. Mm. I never heard that. My parents uh-huh. never told me anything about that. That's what I'm saying. Off. They do it. Nobody, so you don't do it. My like, mom and dad never had conversations with me about masturbation, nor did they ever teach me how to masturbate. I didn't start masturbating until I was a teenager. I started masturbating after I had sex. They're not. <laughs> I'm serious. They're not, say, they're not teaching the kids, though. I did. You just do like, yo, this shit is whack. Where the no, you know what it was? No, no, no. Because the, 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 the girl you, I was with was like, I was in love with her and, you know, we weren't together no more. So I was, and I actually remember jacking off thinking to myself like, man, look what she's making me do. Like, why am I, like, why do I have to jack off? You jacking off without porn? On your knees. Yeah. I I didn't use porn until like late in life. Over your mentals, bro. Use your fucking memory. You didn't have magazines or? I didn't need it. I had everything right here. Close your eyes. I never dry jerk. Also, I don't like jerking off with my eyes open. I don't like looking down and seeing me jerk off. Why? I get that. That's just weird. <laughs> Yo, if you, if, that shit if, feels if you look weird. in the mirror, like down, like, eh, if you look in the crazy. mirror, you will never jerk off me. again. That's arrogant. That's how narcissistic you yeah, are. You yeah. crazy. <laughs> Yo, I'm killing it right now. I'll be looking down like this. How it looks? I'm nah, high. you wow. I'm high. <laughs> I'm high. <laughs> if you can look in the mirror or jerk off to the same porn twice, you're a killer. Why are, you, <laughs> why are you looking in the mirror though? That's weird. to make me make sure I never do it again. See how silly. Oh, you, you said to make sure. I thought you said Jamaican. He's talking about me being autistic. He's looking at himself. Yeah, that's himself. Crazy. That's why he I'm like never doing this again. That's he's looking crazy. at himself. Now that's, that's kind that of is. Crazy. Yo, sometimes I see that's when I, I see like gay again. dudes that are dating dudes that look just like them. I'm like, you arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't into that dude. You into you. Get a mirror, you cocky sons of bitches. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, which, that don't make no sense. I just tried you something, dude, and I should have did it because now I don't ever want to jerk off again. It looks so stupid. I often wonder, I often wonder if I had never um, gotten molested, when would I have started thinking about sex? 
I don't know why you had to make it all about that, bro. We was having so much fun talking about jerking We're talking off, about corrupting kids. And you need to bust out the fucking violin. <laughs> I never got... But you missed and what Black said. The so, second part, he was like, that? if you watch the same uh, porn twice, you're a serial killer. Yes, yeah. you are. No, no, that's not... You got to have your There's favorites. No, no why Sometimes because... you got to go. No, yeah, because... let's get back to that before Charlemagne, Sarah yes. McLaughlin, this whole conversation. No, no, why? <laughs> it's not even meant to and be dark. On, yeah. Yeah, keep on talking yeah. about it. Keep on talking about it. I got you. And the on. Of an angel. <laughs> That's why men go to therapy. Nobody <laughs> takes our trauma seriously. Huh? Excuse me. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> For 10 cents a day, you too can save Charlemagne from his aunt that really had a stinking ass Jerry curl. It wasn't my aunt. <laughs> It was my cousin's ex-wife. Whatever the fuck it was. It was but dry. just as today, you can save Charlamagne. Yo, you know what? Back, you know, it probably wasn't really a Jerry Curl. It probably wasn't them wigs. No, nah, she definitely had a Jerry Curl. Jerry Curl. Because I, I remember Curl. them wigs that people was putting on. I seen but some But when did y'all start thinking about sex? When did I start thinking about sex? Yeah, mine was too early, too. Because oh, you used to get molested. Yeah. No, nah, I was humping early. the shit out of this teddy bear. I, I had a big ass teddy bear. And I was giving that teddy bear the work. At what age? I oh, don't know, maybe eight. But Teddy Bears the only guys. <laughs> <laughs> Te yeah, listen, Teddy Bears the only guys back in the day. Teddy Bears wasn't a girl. <laughs> what are you know, talking about? Know, they never made a girl teddy bear. Teddy bear. Yes, they, did. they had a they had a girl teddy stressed? bear. They had a bunch of girl care bears. Where? Man, you are crazy. a teddy bear is a boy, right? <laughs> Say what? You never had a girl teddy Why bear? Why is a teddy bear a boy? Teddy bear. Care Bear, Teddy Bear. Care Bear's is boy. Teddy too. is a boy. Teddy's not a boy. Teddy's who? Teddy stands for Tenderilla. <laughs> no, Teddy. <laughs> Teddy's a dude, yo. <laughs> teddy Bears are, it can just be a stuffed animal. It don't got to be a Teddy Bear. Yeah, Teddy Bear's really named after Theodore Roosevelt. So it is that, It is the president that it's based on. So what? according to kidshouse.org. I'm sorry, you, did you just interrupt fun? <laughs> were, we, were we having too much fun? Right you interrupted fun for facts? Yeah, you better tell us a fact. Wait a minute, at least. Hey. Reddit, get her! Get her, Reddit! Get her! <laughs> Shit. Reddit is on say, Taylor's ass. Really? And guess what? And guess what? Oh, oh, what? The brilliant idiot oh. face? I gotta go to the brilliant face. Guess what? Guess what? They can suck. Is there people at that party yet? Yeah. It's starting. They come. Really? They starting to come. And they can all suck my dick because it's Oh, shit. There you go. Reddit, you heard that? They're still gonna listen to the podcast. And the balls too, according to Wax. They're still gonna listen to the podcast and everything else. So keep coming. Not only find out you got a dick. Huh? Oh. Whatever. For real, anyways, yo. anyways, children five to nine start masturbating. That's children what I'm that are five you. foot nine, five to nine, like the age five to nine. That's, that's when they start to masturbate. That was, I never did that. No way. Is, okay, I didn't masturbate till my teens. No, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me, let me explain what this is. This is not. I don't like the use of masturbation. It, what it is is touching yourself. Exactly. They're like touching themselves yeah. and rub their shit up against. Yeah. You know what I mean? This yeah. is calm. It's common because. It feels good. It's a sensation. They'll do it, right? But that doesn't mean they're actively trying to come. Yeah, jerk off. They just well, of feel a good thing. Yeah, and then yeah you got you to wipe okay. off. You got to do this when you go in the bathroom after you finish. Well, I don't even think you can come guys. that young. Say what? You can't come that no, young. No, you can't come that young. Yeah, you ain't got balls well, yet. Well, Your balls ain't developed. I could, but y'all can't. Y'all can't. I, was I could come that young. I was coming young. No I way. I was messing at a young age, but I didn't Yo, know. Yeah, I was younger. I was younger. I was younger. I'm... Okay. What's a young age? What's a young age? What's a young age I for you? I probably was like seven or eight. I was about Jesus five or six. Christ. I was about five or six. Yo, you were fucking going old, on with Lil' You were old but compared to everyone else. I don't know. I just knew that it felt good and I would. Jesus. I, didn't know I was coming or not, but I. I felt this. Come on, yo. Why you, this is weird, I'm bro. Just yo, go you watch that true. shit. You, you need that, Taylor. That, they got to bring that to I can't believe this, Taylor. Unbelievable. What? Did your mom know about this? Say what? Have you gotten caught? Hell no. You get caught by your mom and you don't care. seven years old playing with her lower marriage. That's, normal. <laughs> That's <laughs> honestly normal. Listen, if you, if you ever get caught by your parents, you probably get, you probably get caught and going That's to jail. Normal. There's a lot of, I know a lot of people that was that age doing that. I didn't start math no until I was way. a teenager. Well, Teen teenage sex. stuff. But I didn't know what sex was, nothing like that. Did like, you grow up in the church or something? <laughs> why? I don't know. The Catholic Church, they be starting yeah, young with man. that shit. This is crazy. What? It's I true. I remember reading this in Chelsea Handler book. She said she used to do it when she was mad young, but she yeah. used to do it in public. So somebody had to tell oh, her to stop oh. doing it. Her parents used to act like they didn't see her at first. 
And then somebody had to tell her to stop doing it. That's why I say the only thing you got to tell kids is not to do it in public because they don't know what they're doing is wrong. Yeah, just and it's not that. wrong. Let me take that back. It's not wrong, but you know, inappropriate. Inappropriate. They say the devil. Exactly. You touch, don't touch that. What are you doing? Relax. Can't, and then especially boys. Nah, because that's even scarier. Wax. That I would, I'm Hold still on. thinking that's that scary is crazy. Because what if you tell them that it's the devil and then they start getting boners and they're like, oh my god, the devil possessed me. Or the bomb. <laughs> the devil to jerk off. I mean, we we didn't we know what it meant. You know what I'm saying? We just like, yo, that no, means don't jerk bro. off. Do, who wanna get caught jerking off anyway? I don't know how you get caught. That is the stupidest thing it's I've ever heard. It's the dumbest thing life. in the world. Lock on the door, go jerk off in the bathroom like everybody your, else. Your parents let you lock your door? In the bathroom? In the bathroom? Oh, you can't okay. lock the bathroom door? <laughs> who masturbates in the bathroom? I mean, you masturbate that. I used to do two a days. I get home from work, or, not work, I get home from school, jerk off, <laughs> relax a little bit, take a shit, jerk off again. No. You did two a days? Two a days. You and I had wild. a ring around my thighs and butt cheeks. I <laughs> Yo, on the toilet for so you, long. You're a wild guy for real. <laughs> you masturbate on the toilet? On the two toilet. times a day? Oh, nah, you can nah, have two nah. times jerk off? Jerk off shit, jerk off again. Nah. All one second. You have nah. nothing to fucking do for the rest nah, of the nah, day. Nah, nah. Say now, what? After you get home from school, you had nothing to do. Honestly, I couldn't you wasn't cut grass. You wasn't doing shit. Nah. Pen, bro. I could, oh. Cut grass. I grew up in Manhattan. Ain't no grass to cut. Nah. That's what I'm saying. That's why you were able to jerk off. Oh, yeah. I was jerking off like nonstop. I didn't have chores. I need y'all to love nothing to do. I had chores. I need y'all to love off. yourself, man. Say what? Love yourself. Why y'all smutting out yourselves out? I was loving me. <laughs> you just go in the bathroom and just... Uh, uh, no, <laughs> man. Make love to yourself. Son, no, man. Hell no. Yes, man. man. Put up make such a move. You still got to meet in your hand. You got to think about that. You, oh, you, you, you got to have a jerk off before you, you think about like that shit. You like version when he was about to masturbate. What's that? Set the tone? I used to yeah. use Vaseline. I set the tone, baby. Nah. I used Vaseline. Nah, I set the tone. My mom actually was like, yo, why are we out of Vaseline? I used to do that dumb shit. Like, cause you know how you never finish a tub of Vaseline? Like that shit lasts. I've never jerked off a of Vaseline. I tried it once, I think it's stupid. No, you gotta smash oh, a Vaseline best. jar. You gotta smash it, put your meat in there. That's exactly what he said. He yeah. goes, like, you I bet you it's way better for that, bro. You way better crazy. than what you gonna grab it and put it in your hand? Yeah, stupid. Yeah, but later smash tonight it. I'm gonna do that shit. You know, <laughs> you know, I'm trying that. That's so fast, bro. You know, after, you know, after, you after have hearing this conversation, it. they need to teach masturbation in first grade. <laughs> I think we should have been there for the course. I think we missed out. Can we get one of the teachers from the school to come on? Yeah, Yo, you might be right. They need to tell to I don't think about uh, it. I learned some other shit this week, man. What else? Stop um, smashing Vaseline jars. He yeah. did, he stopped doing that after he, or before he met Carla. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Tune in to Bully Um, The 20-year-old girl on OnlyFans, they have a new challenge on OnlyFans where they... Eat a scoop of workout powder with no water. Oh, man. Similar to the cinnamon challenge. And then this young lady had a heart attack. Yeah, that's she what I'm saying. Died? No, 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 she no. didn't die. She had a heart attack, though. Yeah, at 20? On, slow down. Yes, yeah. at 20 years old, doing that fucking stupid ass challenge. can't breathe. I just don't understand the point. Yeah. When Cat I do things, next. I have to ask myself, why? Yeah. What is the why of taking a spoonful of workout Going powder viral. with no water? Bro, how about let's uh, focus on the let's see how long we can live challenge. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Stay healthy challenge. Like the stay healthy challenge, yeah. the physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Yes. Let's grow old, people. Yes. Like you can't be 20 years have old. Have grandkids challenge. Yes, man. You have can't. grandkids Come challenge. Come on. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. What happens good. when you die about something over something like this? Yeah. That's like, what people are willing to do, though. How to be stupid challenge. I know yeah. God is like backing people away from heaven at this point <laughs> because, no, 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 no. yes it's got to be like a limbo for people who die like this because you you haven't done enough to get through the pearly gates yeah right yeah. and satan is like well they didn't really sin they just was stupid yeah so we don't want them here either so it's kind of like you're just hanging out your guy got dms you know the side dms and the side dms <laughs> <laughs> he ain't checking no shit let me in let me in let me in it's just like no bro like it's just stupid. What did you think of Kyrie disrespect? Let's get into some uh, things you won't care about next week. Right, what did you think of Kyrie Irving disrespecting the Celtics logo? I expected it. I also think it's good fodder. I mean, he's just kind of like an emotional dude. So I see him doing something like that. But like, yeah. he's also the type of guy who's like, I mean, we're just playing basketball. This is game at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And like, let's not take this too seriously and blah, blah, blah. And then he stepped on an imaginary mascot. So it's like, is it a game? To you too, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. what is it? Like, I love the wrestling of it because it gets people all charged up and excited, and the fans are gonna go crazy, yeah. blah blah blah. Yeah. But I find him to be a little bit hypocritical because he can't act like he's over all the trash talk and then go and step on the mascot. It's just a little interesting. Familiar. Interesting. What do you think? Um, I mean, it's disrespectful, but that was the point. He yeah. meant to disrespect. He yeah. meant he clearly meant to disrespect. Um, 
Also, I think, you know, Kyrie, just, I think Kyrie should just be cognizant of other people's triggers, just like he wants people to be Obviously, aware of his. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Just be aware of other people's triggers. Like you knew that was I going to trigger that. somebody. That's you know what I mean? Did. That's yeah. why he did it. So just be aware of, of, of other people's triggers. I think that, you know, you know, we've seen Kyrie take breaks for his mental health, um, which he has every right to do. But just be aware of other people's triggers. Because sometimes we do unintentionally trigger people and we don't mm. think about it. To him, it's just like, I'm going to do this on the Celtics logo. We sending them home anyway. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So I'm going to disrespect them. Eh, just be aware of other people's triggers. That's all. We pulled up That's on it. somebody when we were, they played football. Somebody stumped all over our logo, and we went to Union. They packed up in cars and went to go fight them just for that. That's really disrespectful. Yeah, I thought the fan was the stupidest guy. What to throw the water? Throwing bottle? the water bottle because it's not the fan's job to defend the logo; it's the team. Yeah, you know what I mean. They all in one. Everybody's one. Sort of, but your saying? team's getting their ass busted. The Celtics, <laughs> that should have motivated the Celtics yeah. on whatever yeah. when, they, when they got when they got sent home Monday night, Tuesday night. Ouch. I don't remember. Mm. Like that should have motivated them to come out there and bust the fucking Nets ass. At least get mm. one more game for them yeah. disrespecting your logo, yeah, and then respect. make them come back to the garden and yeah. let the fans go crazy, booing them and all types of shit. Yeah. But you know. That's that's my thing. It's just like it's not the fans' job. You know what else I was thinking too? What's that? Was Ron Artest wrong? No. Nope. In hindsight? No. Nope. Not at swing all. Swing on right? these motherfuckers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Swing on yeah, these motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you spit on me, dude. Yeah, come oh, on. Now. Yeah, that's, that's different, yo. That's, that's assault. assault. That's, that's different, assault. Yo. You go to jail for that. That's yes. assault. And we don't nah. know what type of spit it was. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ah. Come on, come on, come on, come Probably on. Probably got cum in it or you know what I'm saying? Snot. Why would they have cum in it? I don't know why. Never mind. Uh, shit we won't care about next week. What Quick, let me we suck your dick. I gotta spit on someone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think anybody, I don't think anybody ever said that. Right? Who said that before in life? Uh, in life? I don't think anybody ever said that. <laughs> That's wild your homeboy gets spit on. He's like, man, what the fuck? Man, might be coming that shit. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> it's so crazy. Matter of fact, let's pay some bills. Man, all right, bet. Let's pay some bills, then we come back with uh some asking idiots. All right, guys, we can take a break for a second because some of you guys might be carrying a credit card balance month after month. Okay, and you're not the only ones. High interest rates make it hard to pay off your debt, but Upstart can help you with that. Join the thousands of happy borrowers who made that final payment. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online, okay? Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple fixed monthly payment. Unlike other lenders, Upstart looks at more than just your credit score, like your income and employment history. This means that they can offer smarter rates with the trusted partners. With a five-minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans between $1,000 to $50,000, okay? You can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. All right, now, right now, you can find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments, yours, can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash idiots. That's upstart.com slash idiots. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Okay, one, let me tell you something. One loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. All right? So go to upstart.com slash idiots. Go get your loan, consolidate that debt, and pay that thing off so you can be financially free. Now, let's get back to the show. Financial freedom is our only hope. Let's go. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know shit about uh, stocks, but boy, that AMC stock jumping. I'm so glad humming. I watched them. Humming. Man. Humming. And that's the, the the craziest part is knowing, I guess, when to take your money out. I told you I took out my initial investment, but now I'm looking at this money and I'm like, do I just take it now? Do I? You know what I mean? You believe in it? I do believe in it, but it's like, yeah, it might go crazy. If it maybe jumped up this fast, you might as well just It's go going up. crazy. I there's think the highest very, it's ever been is thirty five dollars. That shit is at like forty five right now. There's a very famous uh, investor. His name is Bernard Baruch. He's the guy who Baruch uh, <coughs> College is named after. Mm -hmm. Like there's a bunch of Baruch things here, and he said, uh, <clears throat> "I made a fortune selling too soon." A lot of people go, oh, you don't want to sell too soon. You don't want to sell too soon. They act like that's a bad thing. He yeah. goes, I made a fortune selling too soon. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. the opposite is selling too late. 
Yeah. Yeah. And you lose a fortune, it's yeah. all too late. So yeah. if you want to take your you money out. He's got no win. He's got no win. Exactly. Now, you, there's no way you're going to predict the exact height. So as long as you take your money out, you make some, you'll have other things to invest in in the future. 100%. It, it's, it's just like knowing when to pull out when a girl. Like everybody, we go <laughs> all the way to that last, then we pull right out. Exactly. Nobody Why got pregnant pulling to out too soon. Why Does should we pull to out you? too soon? Nobody Why got pregnant we pulling out to too soon, right? Huh? Why should we listen to you? You don't know how to have sex. So I'm, says the sex therapist. That's a good point. I, I mean, I know how to pull out, but I just don't know how to like have You had sex. three girls Do pregnant you know? at once. Do it's you back know in how the to pull out, bro? I know how to pull out. You had three girls pregnant at once. I was on purpose. I want. I wanted twenty. If I if twenty girls at those two weeks that I was thinking like that, if those two, if, if I had twenty girls who came, I would have pregnant all twenty of them girls. You didn't Why? Care about STDs? Either. Why are you thinking about that? I have no idea. I was just like my life that that time. You didn't I just have anything like, going on for yourself. I did. I actually did. I was playing ball, and I just like, yo, I'm playing ball, and I know I'm gonna make a lot of money. I'm really you want to turn your back on all the kids? And I was like, yo, I'm about to have a bunch of ki- a bunch of kids. And all the guys that I was around, and everybody was just like nothing, and everybody it was like a free for all. Mm. All the guys that you was around, y'all was nothing. No, I'm just saying it was nothing. A bunch of girls. It was just like a bunch of wild shit happened in Miami. I want to see how y'all survived, man. Y'all okay? All right. Yes, we had each other. <laughs> <laughs> Miami's wild, man. Miami is wild. I, I ain't gonna lie. Miami's wild. <coughs> Let's do yeah. some asking idiots, Taylor. Let's okay. go. Knock on one wants to know, Schultz. Yep. What do you feel about bonnets? How do I feel about bonnets? What's the bonnet? Is that the uh, Nick Cannon shit? Don't act like you know a dating <laughs> a black woman. That's a turban. <laughs> bonnet know. is what they put on when they go to sleep. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Keep our hair. Yeah. Uh, you, you use one every night? No, not every night. So is it like a do rag for a girl? Yeah, we yeah. wear bonnets. Yeah, and scarves. I guess I wear bonnets oh, yeah, too. It's fire. I don't but know. you didn't ask the full question though, Taylor. Uh, like, what's uh, the full question? Monique was saying that you shouldn't well, wear that type of that. stuff in public. Yeah. Why not? Like, if you're going to the airport, airport, stuff like that. Why not? Maybe girls. Because, like you in the shower. So look, I kind of look. Maybe for I'm a weird. Black like, woman yeah. is presentable. It's not presentable. That's what. Like, but that's how I was. I was. Also, I'm not that. gonna. I was like, I wouldn't walk yeah, out yeah, like that. Respectability. But I'm not mad at any girl. Respectability. Girls. I don't think she'd do that. I, I, I wouldn't want my girl doing that. What a hair bonnet. I'm gonna even if you're, even if she's going to the not, airport, it's not an early in the flight. Airport. Why not? Maybe, maybe if she's going to maybe I don't know the grocery store. I don't know. Maybe well, how I look at it. Can, can I see what it looks like? Like it's, it's not just like we a hair bonnet. It's like you're on a long flight. And I was flying somewhere. I put my hair bonnet on. But well, can I see what it looks like? If, she, if she at, now she in a it chair, but if she walking through the airport, patterns. maybe a little different. I don't see the problem. What's the issue? Especially if it's early to in the me, morning. Show me a hair bonnet. Hair bonnet. Oh yeah, yeah. You can't wear that. Today. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Shower cap. Shower cap. Cap. Bro, this shower cap. was on yesterday. Who? This. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely did have the Jamaicans with the, with the long drags. He had that on. They wear the bonnet it's out of the way. Stop it. They did. <laughs> that's not nah, a bonnet. Nah. Jamaicans do. I they thought this do. was different. I thought it was the tight one. You know the one that's like wrapped super what tight. That's the line. They answer the that's phone with one of those fire. shit on. But it, I don't know. I don't Jamaicans do wear, but Jamaican men with long dreadlocks. They, uh, they any men with long bonnets, dreadlocks, though. man, they wear bonnets, man. They, they wear bonnets, bro. They wear bonnets? Jamaican bro, men look, wear bonnets. Bro, look, that's a bonnet. Bro. Yo, type, say, type say in dreadlock in a bonnet. Yo, do a man. Alex. Hey, do a say man that to a Jamaican. Say that to a Jamaican. Alex, type in dreadlocks and dreadlock in a bonnet. See what say comes up. Or, or man bonnet. Yeah, Donovan, put your hair in your bonnet. <laughs> say that shit. See what happens. Me no wear no bonnet. That's a male bonnet. That's a male bonnet. Look, look at the look at the sack. That's come on, man. Look at the dude in the blue. Sleep nah. cap. Saddle in a sleep cap. <laughs> yeah, but nah. Look at dude I mean, in the blue. Want Wasn't everybody that. clowning not, not, that girl? Now Ooh. we, we huh? on the plane and she do it. That's Hold cool. On. Hold on, what? You know the guy who cheated? He got caught cheating, and then his girl came out and she was like, have a bonnet right sitting next to him. Wasn't oh, everybody uh, clowning? Uh, what that clown ass dude? Yeah. That loser. Yeah, that, that clown, clown ass clown yeah, punk ass motherfucker. And people were clowning Shorty because she had a bonnet on in the video. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you're right. I mean, yo, different context, different circumstances. You see that young lady in the airport, you mind in your business. You know what I'm saying? If she's at the airport with that on, you're not. Bro, tripping. white people have no fucking clue like what black people wear their hair as. Like <laughs> black people, can, it's like you can have short hair. Taylor all of a sudden has dreads out of nowhere. Like we don't even know what's going on with her hair. So like, like it, the idea that we could be like, oh, that's inappropriate. Like we don't care. Like whatever you do, that's fine. We yeah, assume it's cool. Geez. We'll try to do it and it looks weird. And then that's it. So <laughs> you guys get to decide what's appropriate or not. But white people aren't going, is she wearing a bonnet on the airplane? I don't even think about it. I'll be yeah. minding my business. Now, 
One thing we'll need to say that I agree with the pajamas. I think pajamas is kind of wild. Pajamas is wild to be at the airport. I, I think the same what thing. What kind of pajamas? Though. You pajamas. Talking about? So do you see what people wear out? Like, have you been to a club? <laughs> They wear bikinis out. Like the it's yeah. no wear pajamas. Yeah. Please wear pajamas. I I hope my daughter wears some fucking pajamas before she wears these outfits these girls wear at the club. <laughs> wear pajamas to the club. Wear pajamas everywhere. Yes, of course. Yeah, everybody mind their fucking business. Yeah. Mind their business. I don't wear really you don't know why she got the bonnet on. They you know, so you might have a bald spot. You I might have know. a bald spot. Yeah. yeah. Poor girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's never the reason. That's probably the reason. No, no for real. Not a bald yeah. spot. That's Since a you should problem. bring a bonnet all day long. All That's day. why Wax wears a do-rag all the time. 100%. Because he got a bald spot. You got a bald <laughs> That's What? I should have shown you the picture. Nah, send me that shit. Wax got alopecia. What's the rapper name? Alo Black. What's the shit <laughs> What's this shit called? Alopecia. Alopecia. Let me see that. No. <laughs> These guys want to show you my ball spot. You, you really video. got a baldy? Yes, he got a ball spot. It's because the dreads are weighing down too much. It's pulling your hair apart. Yes, I guess. Why not buzz it up? Why you do that? Just buzz your hair. Then we just, you just now say you don't tell black people to do with their hair. I'm not. I'm not. I said why? Why not? I didn't That's say right, you wax. should. You don't, <laughs> tell, said, don't let not? me tell you what to do with your body. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> your body, your choice, wax. All right. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> how stupid you look with dreads in a ball spot, though. That's crazy, bro. Chill out, man. No, that looks <laughs> dumb, bro. What are you talking about? You got full long dreads and you got a ball spot up there. That's nuts. Yo, that's nuts. If what? Hey, what if I had some long ass hair and then just the middle was missing? You know, people I know plenty like white that? people like that. Yeah, plenty. And y'all think they're crazy? No, no. I was, looking, I was like, oh, okay. If you a white man go. with a fucking long ass hair and a bald spot in the middle walks into a crowded area with a backpack, he, I'd be think? like, you don't want to let it go. I, yes, that's I, 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 said, I literally I said, what I think. Oh, he you got balls. Go. You don't want to let it go. You don't want to let it go. That's yeah. what you guys are thinking. So I'm a little bit more prejudiced to my own people than y'all are. If a white You're man with that haircut with a backpack walks into a crowded area, I'm jumping on that motherfucker. So hold on, so what? <laughs> you got, that motherfucker. What about the bow head guys? The, what Steve, do you mean? Stevie Wonder. Guy, the opposite bow um, bowl cut. The opposite bowl cut. Yeah, it's the, you know how the bowl cut, you have the, all, all the sides done, but now it just got the middle gone. And the middle gone. Yeah. yeah. And he, you see a white guy that looks like he doesn't care about his hair at all, that's <laughs> cause of concern. That's cause of concern. 100%. Like, and if, you don't, if you're not doing that, then, then honestly, that's on you. What you if the hair look? on the edges is done right, though? Like, it might have the ball spot, but everything else is gelled nice and neat. <laughs> Comb the brush down. I don't trust that guy. No, 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 it's different. With you, something's off. I, I don't, don't trust the comb funny. over guys. No, the comb over guys I trust. No, 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 no. no, no, no the no, guys no. that got the ball spot, but they try to take some hair from this mm, side. I don't, trust that, I, no, trust, I don't trust that guy. No, I don't trust, trust that. that. You, I don't trust you work them. at the bank and, or here a car lot guy. You can trust them. Really? They care no about the way they look. They're trying to fight for it. They want to be here. They, they want to be here for tomorrow, right? They're going, I don't want my hair to be, I want to keep as much of my hair on top of my head as possible because I like this life. I'm going to keep it going. The motherfuckers have just stopped doing their hair. The white people just don't care about an outfit yeah. or nothing like that. You should walk up to white men with comb-overs and say, you ghetto, yo. You know what I'm saying? And you don't even have to be. Stop trying they to be something not, about nothing. Whoa. They do not like being called ghetto. We called Ooh. this white person ghetto in Mexico because he was fighting. And my friend's like, you been being a little ghetto. He goes, I'm not no ghetto. Or that's exactly how he really? said it. Because they equate ghetto with black. <laughs> I didn't know no, ghetto was a thing. They were ghetto fighting ghetto. randomly. <laughs> ghetto is get, ghetto's whack. Like, you know what I mean? yeah. like nobody wants to be in the ghetto. Nobody wants to be ghetto. Yeah, 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 if I yeah, if yeah. I said to you, yo, stop stop acting so ghetto, would you I, be like, I don't, Thank I don't you. mind. I never I never got that before. If I said you're a ghetto wax. I don't even think what <laughs> ghetto is. So <laughs> tell me what ghetto is. Wax is not it's ghetto. Tacky. Wax is wax. You're tacky. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think wax is ghetto. Tell me what ghetto is. is I don't ghetto. know, bro. He is. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at him. Wax. My girl not home. Wax presents ghetto. She's not home. He presents present ghetto. ghetto. <laughs> yo, yo. Matter of fact, don't disrespect people in the ghetto, yo. Man, people in the ghetto wear their Tim's way better yeah. than that. They keep them way cleaner than that. My girl is a disaster, son. Your Tim's a disaster. Oh. Yo, you took that homeless man socks, yo. That, that's what he didn't tell us. You took that homeless. You took that homeless man socks, yo. Buy me some Tim's, baby. She, she Buy you some socks. Oh, she come in this week. Carla, please, man. Please, please. please I dress myself every day now. <laughs> <laughs> Get him some pants too. Nah, I'm not gonna I lie, washed bro. them shit by myself. <laughs> Your Tim's are holding on, bro. Oh, bro, like them shit look like a comb over. Your Tim's look like they got vaccinated, bro. You, <laughs> yo, <laughs> they just got the second shot. Yeah, exactly. I'm a little down today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnson, I'll be back Johnson. in a couple days. <laughs> it's her fault. Listen, I tell her I'm not getting dressed till she comes. So. Oh my god. The first time Tim's look like a work boot. <laughs> 
Yo. <laughs> them shit look like they do like a comb over for Roto. They do. Really? And listen, I'm all over with these shit. Look at your like, shoes, bro. They look like you know. got golden retrievers on your feet, bro. Y'all heard it come. <laughs> Baby, it's go your fault. It's your fault. Come on, bro. This is crazy. Is you're not going to do it. You're crazy right now. Listen, I'm not gonna go shopping for myself. What I do go to Target and just go in the dressing room. You should have gave those to the homeless room. guy, yo. You I really should have. And man. the socks. The whole thing. You're the whole outfit. <laughs> you got white guys' Tim's on, bro. You got literally white guys' Tim's on. Why are you wearing white dudes' Tim's, bro? Oh, oh, what's oh, going man. on, man? I don't know, guys man. She's not here, yo. So I just be like, fuck. Carla, it. please. Please, Carla, move up. We need please. you. <laughs> please. This guy's looking crazy right now. Give us another asking idiot, Taylor. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Get her here. I like how we came full circle <laughs> about Puerto Ricans on this but podcast. We, we really need to because you look like you treated your Tim's like a Vaseline jar, bro. <laughs> you talking about stop fucking the Vaseline jar. Stop fucking your Tim's. Stop fucking that Tim's. <laughs> yo, look at the exhausted <laughs> Tim's. Look like, yo, leave me be, what? You gonna walk around with me all day and then fuck the shit out of me at night? Oh oh and she'll tell you how soon she got it. I'm sure she gonna probably put up in here like, I just got them them shit. I just, yeah. Hey, yo, your Tim's need a mental health break, yo. They, they are. Really they they are exhausted. You got the come on. They are exhausted, you. bro. Oh, oh my god! What you doing? You. Yelling at him? <laughs> Trying to wake him up? <laughs> like like the tongue? Like the tongue's going? So the tongue's like yeah. Look at those fucking yeah. tips, bro. What kind of car you drove in? All jokes aside, though, mobile, bro. All jokes aside, that's when they the most comfortable though. What? So when they like that. I love them like I'm that. Chilling. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, for him, for That's us, why I it's, always it's fuck a, up. very uncomfortable. To look at <laughs> 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 Give, Unbelievable. Give us an asking idiot tale. Um, <laughs> this is just truly embarrassing. Um, yeah. I kind of want to know this, though. They, someone, Shane O'Mac says, what does oink oink shower time mean? Oh, that's an old school. Yeah. That's an old yeah. school. We can tell you that no? when we're 50, 60. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ten more You got to come back around to that. The over two yeah. windows on that still up. Uh, yeah. No, that was, yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry. Talk about that 10 years from now. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Um. I want people to think about all this stuff 10 years from now when we really old and don't wow. really give a fuck no more. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oink, oink, shower, shower time. time. <laughs> Yo, oink, oink, shower time was super lit. Get that right. shit. That um, was fire. Hilarious. DS underscore double underscore you wants to know if you could share one life hack with your children, future children, what would it be? One life hack? Mm -hmm. I mean, when you got kids, everything is a life hack because, it, you know, if you're a certain age, you've lived. So you've had experiences that they don't have yet. You know what I'm saying? You've learned thing that, things that they have yet to learn. So it's really a cheat code. That's why I always tell kids, listen to your elders. Mm. You know what I mean? Like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a cheat code. Like it's a mm. shortcut to victory. All you got to do is listen to those who came before you. By the way, it don't even always have to be elders. Just listen to those who came yeah, before you. And, and I'm not saying do exactly what it is that they do. Just listen. Just listen. Yeah. yeah. It's a cheat code. Yeah, don't shy yeah. away from the bad things too. Like, no, no, no. You got to. actually made me. You got no, to. The bad things would make me at least know what not to do. Same. You know what I'm saying? So you need the bad things too. I'm happy I grew up in the hood because mm. I seen both sides. I seen me growing up in a church and I seen me grow actually growing up in the hood and I seen both sides. So I adapted both. I know what not to do and what to do. Mm. Amen. Um, <clears throat> Mr. <laughs> Doves want to know, can you learn to become an alpha male or is it something you were just born with? I don't even know what the fuck that means. I, mean, uh, I think it's something you're born with. I'm saying you're not an alpha male, Wax. It's guarantee. I'm a protector. It's like yeah, but you that, but you're a protector. But that I don't, what's the definition of alpha male? Alpha, I mean uh, alpha male. I can't argue. Like, I, would, I would say it's me. <laughs> I, listen, <laughs> I, 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 I say I'm an alpha male. Last, you know the second Wax answered that question, he was like, "No, nah, that's something you're born with." Charlotte Media was like, "Oh, I'm gonna take this away from you." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to know. I want to know what you mean. Wax, Wax, not alpha male. Alpha males don't run from mice. Yo, that's Damn. facts. Alpha males Why? don't run from Alpha fight. males pick mice up and bite the heads off. Them. Fight it. Hum. Hum. Ratatouille. Hum. <laughs> listen, I listen, my. I listen, my. So who can handle that? Handle that. Yeah. I get all the big shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Word is born. If that motherfucker right there came alive, y'all all run. What you would, would you too. Do? No, I won't. If that shit come alive and you don't run, something wrong with you. Something wrong with you. What that's if that right. shit came alive, but instead of speaking, it just went. 
I'm gonna kick his ball. <laughs> Man, little, my, little mouse sound. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm gonna try to holler at him and see if he wants some who's wax. And we try to blow some sweet weed well, in his face. Well, there was just a uh, rat sitting right next to him, though. What if, he he t- yeah, what if that shit comes off and, and it's a rat face? Yeah. It's inside doing the whole thing. I don't thing. care about the rat face. It's about the small shit that I think is gonna go up in my fucking pants leg. And I can't <laughs> take it, yo. I can't take it, yo. <laughs> What's the definition of alpha male? <laughs> it says a dominant. Well, they only have it for animals. <laughs> What is it? <laughs> a squirrel or something going up the piss. Like. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's his only No way. I just thought of my Why next trick. Bottom? What? I just thought of my next trick. I'm going to yeah. give you a train rat. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give me a train mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody got to ask for that shit. Train mouse. I'm gonna figure out how to make a train a, a mouse run up your leg, bro. That shit, I would pay to see wax dance. If you ain't never saw a wax dance, imagine a rat running up them goddamn Tims and going up them tight yoga pants. That's why oh, that would be so funny. Oh my god. So it says a uh, dominant male animal in a particular group. Dominant male what? Animal. In animal? A, yeah, in a particular when I say alpha male. I just type in alpha male. It's an definitely, animal? Definitely alpha male. Well, they relate it to uh, animal more. Yeah, I, I don't know. Alpha males, like I said, alpha males don't run from mice, bro. I don't, I don't think that's all it's about. I'm saying. I mean, technically, and it in says, that group, that a man tending to assume a dominant or domineering role in social or professional situation. Yeah. So a top a can do, be an alpha male. Yeah. If you're a power top in a relationship. Yeah. Huh? Hmm? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... All right, next question. Do you, you know I mean? <laughs> listen? I mean, if that's the definition. That's not. We're what gonna it get is. to it next week. But Al, okay, wax can be a dominant male, power top, power top. No. If in a group of animals, unless a mouse is in the room, and then you're a beta. That's right. You're a beta to mice. You're a bottom to mice. Yeah, you're a, <laughs> you're a mouse bottom. <laughs> you're Mickey Mouse you're, bottom. Yo. Yeah, you really are. <laughs> You're Minnie. We're going to call you Minnie. <laughs> no, Minnie got way more dominance in the bedroom. You think so? Yeah, absolutely. She was swinging that thing? Yeah, you goofy, bro. Nah, you know what? <laughs> yeah. I just find out I don't know how to have sex, so you might be right. You said what? True. I just find out I don't know how to smash. Okay. Give us one more. Um, She Banks wants to know, where do you see Brain Innocent in five years? I don't know, man. It I mean, on, It depends on his AMC stock. Yeah, <laughs> Charlotte might not be here next year. If no, I mean, listen, it's ther- I like I like doing brilliant. It's just therapeutic, you know. What I mean, I like coming here and just kicking the shit. You yeah, know, right. I just miss the days when we could just kick the shit without motherfuckers all in our goddamn business. <laughs> Yo, shit, that's a fact. okay, that's a fact. this shit we kicking is for us. Yo, yeah. I wonder if we get to do that one of these days, like in the future, like we could find a way. Yeah, let me not put that out there just yet. But <laughs> this is, this it'd be is, cool this to like, like just have some shit that, that you could just Maybe say. we just need to have the live show. Yes. With no phones. Ooh. Yes. No yes, nothing. Yes, though. And let's just have a, you know. Let it rip. Yep. Oh, and let that guy come oh, alive. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, listen, by the way, people evolve. We all grow. It's nothing like I'm, you know, we're, we're not saying. It's just that. It's, uh, the scrutiny is stupid. Like, you get tired of explaining uh, every fucking thing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I realize? Like, people evolve in their behavior, but not in their sense of humor. Like, I'm mm, the same shit. No, that's funny. real. Because it's juvenile as fuck. I like juvenile. Love it. Dark. You know what I mean? You want to train Edgy, a rat to, that, to go up Wax's leg. That's funny. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. hilarious. Yeah, but that's I don't want to put doodle on nobody. Maybe I'll put some doodle on You know what? I was thinking about <laughs> Yo, I seen that peacoat. Listen, you know what's funny? That dude had a peacoat, and I promise it took me right to that guy uh, coat I put the, uh, the doodle in. Yeah, that peacoat. Yeah. I'm like, the fuck you doing a peacoat? You know how old that peacoat is, bro? Yeah, yeah. with yeah. fucking socks on. That's and then I got little kids back. too, so like my oldest is 12, mm-hmm. about to be 13, mm-hmm. right? And then I got five and two. Are they playing pranks on you all day? All day, all, all, all day juvenile, and it's like. Did they do something to your shaving cream or anything? My yet? my my Shampoo? oldest daughter no, but my oldest daughter is at the age where she just laughs at us. Yeah, yeah. And I'm at the point where I'm about to, when she turned 13, I'm like, what the fuck is you yeah, laughing what's at? What's so yo? funny, huh? <laughs> 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 Why did she just laugh at you? Just be laughing like everything's a joke. We just joking to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are we clowns, mom huh? Is, mom and daddy just joking. We just two joking individuals to you, huh? You just yeah, find oh. us funny. Yeah, huh? oh. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. Everything for <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, die. I don't know. Like my obnoxious ass laugh yeah. at people. Yeah. What is so funny? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. You know what 
Why are you trying to pronounce the old, the young word? I, I don't even know. Oh, she corrects yeah. me. It's like it's just. Uh, I'm sad. It's really a new language. You have there. no power in your house when you when you're a man <laughs> and you got three daughters and a wife. There's no. You have no power. Yeah, you got. Mm, you got a none. girl. Period. You ain't yeah, got yeah, no. You don't power. have. You don't get no saying nothing. nothing. You just so there. Are y'all all punching back? Then? You said what? Y'all all betas? Yeah, we're betas in the house. I don't know what. Yeah. I'm a daddy <laughs> and a husband. I don't yes. know. It's whatever. I'm like punching you know. bag. Okay. Oh, we could be betas. Hey, bro. We could be betas in the house. That's fine. Who's a beta? I- the fish? Yep. Yep. The goldfish. Yeah. And I get pumped from top <laughs> to bottom. Yeah, yeah. Beta is short for master beta. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I know it's something like that. Yeah. I get I get pumped from top to bottom. <laughs> Oldest daughter, youngest daughter. Youngest daughter's two telling me what not to say and what not I'm to sure. do, Hilarious. how not to talk to them. I'm like, yeah. All right, man. <laughs> you know, okay. What am I supposed to do here? Yeah. Go sit on the porch. I get punked too. It's, that's what I do. I go sit on the porch. I'm about to get the dog. Yeah. Say Yo, what? You, really you get the dog? Get the dog. dog. That's a yeah, lot you got to get the bro. dog. That's no. a lot of work. It helps. It helps. Because Wife got the kids. I got the dog. No, that's a lot yeah. of work. You don't want You like dogs? Bro, you know, I don't dog. like dogs. I'm going to say you don't even like dogs. You just want a friend. You just want a friend. You need another boy in the house. Bro, I'm telling you. Because listen, when you get upset, you can curse the dog out and talk to the dog. I don't want to curse the dog out neither. Yes, you will. I'm telling you. It's going to help you. to pay attention to him and love him. He will. I know he wants. But during the training, he's going to just shit on your foot or something like that. like, what the fuck? And then you get to let it out. I'm telling you, he shitting on these tongues. <laughs> yep. That explains it. That explains it. That explains it. All right, guys. I think we did it. Did we do it? We did it, bro. All right. As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.